What is going on, Eye Warriors? So today we're going to talk about a cohort study, a new one that was just released at the end of January of 2022, looking at potential mortality rates for those who did walk versus those who did not walk. And this design was much more hands-on. So we got a better look of what we could expect the results to be when applied to the normal population. Without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Now this cohort study was ran by Pedro F. St. Maurice and colleagues. And what they did, which a lot of people do, and this is great that this thing exists, they used the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. And all of those who partook in this study were informed and a written consent was sent back to the researchers so that they can go ahead and do this study design. Now, the reason that this needed to happen in this way was because it wasn't just looking at you know the uh what they say in terms of questionnaires and things like that they attached an accelerometer to a lot of these participants so they know their health they know their diet they know their medical history and medical information based on the national health and nutrition examination survey so they took a lot of participants in here and had them actually physically walk and and do either 10 minutes or 20 minutes or 30 minutes and they know for a fact that they walked because of the accelerometer so it wasn't just he says she said or a reporting or a questionnaire they know who walked and who didn't 4840 adults age ranging from 40 to 85 were used in this study. Now, these studies have been following a lot of these participants dating back to 2003, 2005. But using the accelerometer information as well as the NHANES, they had mortality follow-ups in 2015 using the National Death index linkage so anything that was from that national health and examination survey a lot of that was linked to the national death index so they're able to see if people passed away of course they adjusted for hazardous deaths things like you know somebody falling off of a building or a construction accident or getting hit by a car or any unfortunate thing that takes someone's life away early they looked for health related deaths what they found was that through adding walking even if it was just 10 minutes, but they had different uh, variations, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But even with 10 minutes of walking, it was associated with about 6.9% of avoided deaths per year, with 20 minutes being up to 13% and 30 minutes being up to 16.9%. When using the epidemiology and the cohort from a study like this one, they discerned that adding 10 minutes of walking per day resulted in an estimated 111,174 preventable deaths per year. And of course, it continues to grow the more time you put in to your activity. So the participants did around 30 minutes per day. They discerned that that number would instead be 367,037 preventable deaths per year. See, the thing with something like walking, what it does is it, it's such a great, uh, it's such a great gateway to getting your body moving. Somebody might look at someone running and say to themselves, this is impossible. I just can't do that. But almost everyone that's able body can walk. And then on top of that, walking doesn't seem intimidating for most people. Most people see walking as a normal thing to do just to get through their everyday lives. But unfortunately, there are people that don't think it does enough. So they're stuck in this very weird gray area where they don't walk, but they're also, they're not gonna run because that's way too strenuous. But they're not gonna walk because there's no point. I'm wasting my time. Studies like these and other studies, even in terms of fat loss regarding walking, has shown that there is massive benefits to walking, especially even for mortality. So of course, this is not direct and then one-to-one -one and guaranteed, 
because it is a cohort study. It's not a control randomized. It is not a randomized controlled design, but because it's a cohort study, it allowed for a larger sample size. And because we got the information directly linked with those from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey, we knew their medical history. We knew how, we knew if they were sick and got better, if they were not sick and got sicker we knew the information because it was logged in a database and those were the specific people that were walking attached with an accelerometer so if they didn't walk the numbers showed that there wasn't that increase in terms of health cardiovascular health which lends to a greater possibility of preventable deaths or preventable mortality so it was very specific not based on questionnaires completely direct and incredibly interesting because even though we may have always thought to ourselves of course you move more you're going to be healthier you're going to be better something like this shows us a more direct link to that result even with walking so do not think that walking is something that you just shouldn't do at all of course the more physical activity you put in the better it will be for your cardiovascular system of course if you do something more strenuous it will help but doing nothing at all because you're in this position where you don't want to walk because you feel like you're wasting your time and you don't want to run because you feel like that is way too over your head please i implore you to take walking much more seriously because it is an incredible tool that can not only help you get healthier on its own merit but it could also open the door for you to start to increase slowly your type of physical activity and of course patrons will be pinned in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next one peace